Good everyone, Giant Opinion. Some breaking and interesting MLB news. Random trade out of nowhere. The Twins are trading away Luis Arise, the batting title champion from last season, to the Miami Marlins. And the Marlins are sending over pitcher Pablo Lopez. They're sending also their fifth ranked prospect, Jose Salas, over to the Twins. And they're also sending over Byron Chiria, who is an outfielder prospect. He's unranked. So this is a really odd deal, in my opinion. Uh, the Twins are getting rid of Arise, who I think has been a I think he's been a pretty good player in the league. Obviously, he's not top 10, not probably not top 50, but he always hits for a high average. It's never going to be lower than, than 290, and he doesn't strike out like at all. He had, I think this past season, he had more walks than strikeouts, so he's an on-base machine, a great leadoff hitter. He has some versatility, too. He could play first base, he could play second, uh, third worst case, so I don't know where the Marlins are going to put him unless they maybe move him to first and then DH Garrett Cooper. Who knows what the plans are for him there, but he will definitely help spark the Marlins offense because the, the problem for the Marlins is that they were so inconsistent that their offense would either be non-existent or they would score a lot of runs. So I think he's going to be a nice little stabilizing force for the Miami Marlins and hit for some average. Be a good leadoff hitter, I think, for that team. So I like it from that perspective, but I find it interesting how much they're giving up in return, the Miami Marlins at least. Pablo Lopez is, has been a pitcher who has had a lot of potential, and he has great stuff when he's healthy, though. That's the key thing, when he's healthy. This past season was the first season where he started almost every game. I think he may have only missed one game, uh, but in years past, I know in 2021, he only pitched in 20 games, and then it was 10 uh, the year before, so he hasn't really been too healthy, but he's got the good stuff. It's really about him being consistent, though. Sometimes his control gets out of whack. Uh, but he has a lot of good stuff, so I like it from the Twins. You're going to get a pitcher who can turn into a very nice addition to that uh, rotation out in Minnesota. Uh, now, Jose Salas is a very interesting prospect, the fifth-ranked guy. His main thing is speed. He's very fast. He has a 60 speed rating on MLB Pipeline or Top Prospects. I think he has like a 50 for power, 55 for contact. So he actually seems like a pretty good all-around player. He's projected to come up around 2024. I don't know if that's going to be the case, though. He was still at single ball the last time I checked. But he's definitely an interesting player uh, for the Twins to develop and have in their farm system, maybe use as trade bait somewhere else if they make a, a, a run this season. Who knows? But I like the value that they're getting for him. And then Byron Trio, to be honest, I don't really know much about him. He's unranked. He's an outfielder. I'm guessing he's an international signing. So who knows? Maybe something will happen there. But the main piece in the steal for the Twins, I think, is definitely Pablo Lopez and Jose Salas. But this is really interesting. I, I am very curious to why the Marlins are giving up so much for Luis Arias. He's a good, he's, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but they're giving up some good talent to go get him. And it's interesting for the Twins to part ways with Arias. I think he was a big part of that offense, so it's going to be interesting to see how they replace or supplement uh, the departure of Luis Arias. So overall, from the Minnesota Twins, I'm going to give this around an, a B plus. I think it's a good trade. Uh, you are losing a really good bat, though, which hurts, and a guy that gets on base a lot. For the Miami Marlins, I'm going to give it a B. I understand why they did it, because their offense does need a, a hitter who can hit for high average and get on base, which is Luis Arias. But where are they going to put him? Uh, did they give up too much? That's really the big question in the steal. But I'd say it's, it's, it's interesting. I'll leave it at that. It's very interesting. Let me know what you all think about this deal and trade. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.